the Rose Bowl last week uh, had had given basically had tried to come up with a solution for the CFP to uh, expand while also making it nice for the Rose Bowl. Right, uh, the issue with CFP expansion, or at least early expansion right now, is that the Rose Bowl wants to maintain their January 1st date, year in and year out. And what they basically told the CFP is, we want, even in years where we are not a semifinal, we want an exclusive window on January 1st at the same time that we always started off, 5 p.m. Eastern time on January 1st. We want it, you know, a couple of hours after the Rose Bowl parade. And the CFP has told them, let's see, I'm, I'm looking at the article right now, it says college football playoff executives plan to discuss further in the coming days, the Rose Bowl's latest request as it relates to CFP expansion in what could be an ultimatum for or compromise with the sport's oldest active bowl game, sources tell Sports Illustrated. Now this is again, Ross Dellinger here. A final decision on the Rose Bowl's fate is expected this week. In its latest proposal to the CFP, the Rose Bowl is requesting to host a semifinal if the semifinals fall on New Year's Day. In two out of every three years, the semifinals are held on that date in an expanded playoff. It is another attempt to keep the Rose Bowl's traditional date and time, which again, 5 p.m. Eastern time on January 1st, in future postseason formats. Alas, the granddaddy of them all is the biggest hurdle remaining to get the CFP to 12 teams for the 2024 season. If they cannot agree, the Rose Bowl would single-handedly delay expansion. And so they want guarantees, basically the Rose Bowl does, around not only its role in future playoffs um, in order to expand early, right? They, They want all of this stuff in writing so that going forward, even though there's no deal, past 2026 right now, um, or past the 2025 season, they want it in writing. They want guarantees that their slot, their exclusive slot, where no other game is going to be going on at that time, that they will be taken care of. And I don't think you can do that. Like, it, it basically, it, it says, uh, they. so five of the six bowls, Sugar, Orange, Fiesta, Peach, and Cotton, are in support of amending the contract to expand early. CFP officials need unanimous agreement from all six bowls in order to expand the playoff to 12 teams before the media rights contract with ESPN's, uh, ESPN ends after the 2025 playoff. Uh, it says few, if any, guarantees can be made for the playoff beyond 2025 because no contract exists. Now, the issue is, again, the Rose Bowl wants to host uh, a non-CFP game on January 1st, in that exclusive window, even in years where they are not hosting in the CFP. How does this make any sense whatsoever? Like, the Rose Bowl wants all these different guarantees, and yet the CFP is not in a position to be able to guarantee anything because there is no contract. Now, what what we're really boiling down to is this week, we could find out that the Rose Bowl will not be included as part of the expanded college football playoff because the Rose Bowl might be willing to just walk away from the table if they don't get these guarantees. And if they don't, that means there's no expansion in 24 or 25. That means the CFP expansion to 12 will start in 2026, and it's all because of the Rose Bowl. So we'll we'll find it out this week. Um, it says, if Rose Bowl officials do not agree to terms, they would be costing college football in more ways than one. Wrote Dillinger, an expanded CFP would generate a combined $450 million in additional revenue by uh, in 2024 and 2025, as well as a combined 16 additional playoff spots. Labeled stubborn by some and traditionalist by others, the Rose Bowl's position has long been expected, previously described by some as the biggest hang-up and the big issue to expansion. It, this is this is insane. The Rose Bowl is absolutely a, it is the granddaddy of them all. It is a gigantic bowl game, right? It, it, it's the most watched bowl game because of that exclusive window every single year outside of the CFP, right? You have to be able to play ball with other people. I understand why they want that. We talked about it on last week's show, I believe on Tuesday or Wednesday, whatever day it was. The reason why the Rose Bowl wants that spot is because of the TV dollars. That is the most, it it doesn't matter if you put the Rose Bowl on in that slot or not. You could put the Citrus Bowl in that time slot and have it be an exclusive window and it would be the most watched game of all the sea of all the bowl season because of the fact that it is in that time slot and yet the Rose Bowl they want to play traditionalist they want to do all this hey even in years where we don't we want to have a game on January 1st in that exclusive window etc it didn't matter to them when they were hosting BCS national title games it didn't matter to them early on when you have to move the game off of TV for the NFL right when uh, all of a sudden January 1st is on a Sunday and the Rose Bowl is going to argue i mean it, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense Right, like it, you're a traditionalist until you get more money to do something else. Right, that's that's the situation here to me. Uh, 
But we'll see what ends up happening because I, if they can't find a way to coexist, if they can't find a way to make this work, uh, you're talking about costing college football about a billion dollars in additional revenue, or at least close to it, for two years of non-expansion. Like, do you think anybody in that room, in that CFP room, is going to care about whether or not the Rose Bowl gets an exclusive time window? No. They'll take a game. They'll create a game over at SoFi Stadium, the new billion-dollar uh, stadium that's in Los Angeles. I mean, it's in the same town. I understand that the sight lines and the views and all that, oh, the sunset over the mountains and blah, 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 blah. Hey, the bottom line is this. If the Rose Bowl doesn't come come to play, then the CFP will do away with it. And that will just be another bowl game on another day, and we'll see what happens with it. But there are no guarantees past 2026. No guarantees at all. You could be looking at the third-place Big Ten team and the fourth-place Pac-12 team. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.